in certain clothes of the 80s, di ba? Yung crush ko, amoy drakar eh, di ba? Kahit Drakar. sinong maamoy ko, amoy drakar. Okay. Pag may maamoy mo Old Spice, wala, daddy mo yun. Oo nga. Kahit boyfriend mo yun, hindi mo mahalikan kasi amoy ng daddy mo yun. Or in the in the darkest days of the 70s, remember that musk perfume, Jovan? Oh my God! Sino kaya nag-indeed na sinasabi? Badoy is an alternative educator and advocate for social change. She is the executive director of Project Steady. Gang, I don't understand the world anymore. Can you explain it to me, please? What uh, happened? Well, for a very long time, I think facts ruled. Yes. I think the more sophisticated we got or we imagined we got, parang there were more lines blurred and questioned. Because I think for a long time, May sets of rules. There mm -hmm. were sets of rules. You know, your parents, you you uh, you respect your parents. Whatever they said was uh, sound, mm -hmm. and you obey. And you know, there were there was a natural order of things. You know, and then I think and then I, if, if you work hard and you graduate on top of your class, that's a good thing. Yes, oh. if you uh, plant something, you will harvest something. There yes. were there were maxims that parang held true. But we realize it's not as simple. It turns out the world is not as simple. It's so complex that sometimes you can plant something and a storm can happen. Yes. And there are pests. There are pests that can come and get your harvest. And even if you worked hard and really planted, there is nothing to harvest. Yes. You know. So th those are of course poetic analogies of what society can do to an individual. Mm -hmm. Even if you put in the work, sometimes either luck or society or the general um, who holds the decisions will really decide for you. So the world for me now is way more complex than we yes. pictured it. <laughs> like, like for instance, um, adults always told us, you study hard, you do your work, yeah. and then you, you, you strive to do something in your profession. But then, you know, it's possible that you do all these things and then you still end up nowhere. And yet you see people who are way dumber and lazier than you yeah, and I they're know. rich and, uh, uh, and they have and they have airplanes at which, their disposal i'm glad i'm glad you brought that up which means it's an orchestration of very many things yes. apparently yes. you know the irish prayer where the wind must be on your back that being said hindi pa rin mare replace you put in the work yeah. ready when it happens because even if there's wind on your back, if you did not have the skill and you did not practice it or hindi ka ensayado, it won't move. Does that make sense? So, uh, is it unfair? Absolutely. Especially when we see others who get better breaks than those who deserve it. Or worse, we see people who are demonstrably criminal <laughs> getting They're... ahead in the world and um, achieving yeah. positions of power. Those who are uh, Obviously, objectively in the wrong. Yes. Pero sila yung nagsasaksid. I think that gave birth to the belief of an afterlife. Eh. Mm. Kasi sa sabiin mo, hindi to fair. And of course, they're Dapat the ones with. No. They're the ones with no <laughs> guilt whatsoever, yeah. di ba? Because they yeah. feel somehow entitled yeah. to what they have it's, stolen or. To them, guys, it's not. I didn't steal anymore. This was mine. I mean, I, it's how mine. How can I you know, steal something that's mine? That is true. Right? Yeah. So yeah, yeah, we can run on that. But I also think what we have forgotten. May yes, I think, say my theory? I think uh, because I make soap. Yes. I make handmade soap, and the soap that I make has no preservatives, no synthetics, no sulfates, no phthalates. So it will not bubble the way, <laughs> the way commercially produced soaps will. Yes. It, it, it will won't fade. lather. Yes. It will not lather. You're right. It will fade. Even the scent will fade. Given one one year and eight months to two months to two years. It's so different from commercially produced soap. Yes. Why? Because if you produce soap commercially, all due respect to all soap makers, 
Your priority sometimes, especially if you produce en masse, yes. your priority is shelf life. Yes. Because if I make my soap in Ohio and I want to sell it in Vietnam, it might be. It had better survive the trip. It better survive the trip. And kahit hindi ko yan masell for six years, the soap will stay green. It will still be mabango when I open it. Can you imagine what they add? Because nature is not this way. Mm -hmm. Nature is not static. Yes. When you bite an apple and you leave it open after five minutes to ten minutes, brown na yan. Yes. Oxidized. That's nature. Yeah. Can you imagine the apples we have? That they are harvested in September, bo boxed in November. Pagdating ng New Year, pula parin. Yeah. <laughs> so can you imagine what they add? So I think what I'm saying is, when we use the term quality control, and it's the same with people, I'm not just talking about soap here. When you use the term quality control, I don't think it really is quality control. What we mean with quality control is. The soap I make in November should be exactly the way it is November 10 years from now. That's not quality control. That's static. Ergo, that's not nature, right? Basically, you're subverting nature. Yes! You're subverting the yes. nature of nature. So I think nature has to... Rem we have to remind ourselves what the world is like. There are seasons. May nabubulok. Magkakarinkles ka talaga. You know, and changes really happen. And I think even with our, our energy level, mm -hmm. you know, I think a lot of mental wellness is really connected to energy level. Now we forgot. That is true. We forgot. We're aging. We put a premium so much on things that are static, meaning did not change. Yes. yes. Why is it such a compliment when we say, Ay, can you put an itchura mo? Oh, nga, High school no. palang tayo, ganyan na itchura mo. That's like, true. Like that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. No. No, we age, we have to change, things happen, leaves turn brown, whatever, you know. But uh, we forget that. And it's the same with, uh, with moods, you know. It's like we're not allowed to be, uh, you know, in despair certain weeks and very, very happy on certain that days. That is true, and yes. Why? Why was there such a premium on static things? Mm -hmm. We need to change. I change, you know. And... Um, I think nagkaroon din tayo ng value so much in consistency and totoo, I, I love consistency, especially, mm -hmm. especially with work yeah. and merit. But for other things like our nature, really, you should allow every now and then somebody to break down, mm -hmm. somebody to be sad, somebody not to be on tip-top shape. Hence the advertising buzzword, disruption. In advertising, they say that, well, things are just... Uh, just um, They've kind of plateaued. They uh, haven't changed. Uh -uh. So the way to get everyone's attention is to disrupt the usual procedure. Yes. All due respect to anybody who's had cosmetic surgery, but with soap, I always say, you know, commercially produced soap is like parang taong nagpa, nagpa bello na. Because mm -hmm. they remain perfect uh, and yeah. uh, wrinkle-free. The natural handmade soap for me, it will really fade. Hihina yung smell. Yes. You know. But please remember, we're the generation of babies that crawled on bright floor wax. You know, in that the is rest. true. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, tayo yung toddlers na nagcrawl dun sa pulang wax floor na malay yes. natin na, na inhale na natin as toddlers. And we're also our parents also were the ones that first discovered Glade and Bay Fresh. And when they <laughs> spray, well, you know, for ten minutes. Yes. And then, and the, the, the thing we forget is our sense of smell, it adjusts. Even if it's an offending smell after 10 minutes, sasabihin ng brain mo, uh, we can't work if we smell the basura all day, so I will make this, the sense of smell adjust. Mm -hmm. After 10 minutes, sanay ka na sa amoy hmm. ng basura, right? So, magsaspray ka ulit. <laughs> oh, very fresh. Alert. And thus, and um, thus, buying more of the exit. product from the manufacturer. Please remember, this is synthetic. For it to be that offending, the smell, right? We have friends. We all have friends who who over cologne. Yes. You know? oh, because they can't smell themselves anymore. That is true. Nasanay and ganon yung magic ng sense of smell, ah. And ito lo, ito pa. When you smell something, let's say if you're lucky, it's an orange and not bo. Yeah. Let's say it's an orange. How many inches, millimeters even, away is it from your limbic system? Your nose is right there. Then all of a sudden, you remember your childhood. Physically, magkatabi sila eh. Ilong, ilong mo and your limbic system where all the emotions are, you know? It's true. Can you imagine, why do we not optimize our sense of smell for handling our moods? Dude. You know this, pag mabantot yung room, hindi ka makaka-focus, hindi ka makaka-trabaho. 
True. Pag mabango, you can. So, yeah. so na realize ko, we have control. Some, some control. We have yes. some control of what we can smell. Yes. This is why we choose cucumber melon, yum 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 for soap because that's a soap you, that's a scent we want to smell when we bathe in the morning. Yeah. Coffee. Yeah. You know, when you smell it, right? All of a sudden, all is right in the world. I used to wonder why do I like the smell of beer and cigarettes? Yeah, apparently, my first kiss smelled like that. Beer and cigarettes. Yeah. And it's an awful smell combination, really, especially it's, if you don't smoke and especially if you don't drink, right? Yeah, but especially if you're in an enclosed, unventilated it's room. Sexy ng smell na to. Yung pala na associate ko siya. It's, it's yeah, in your memory. Yeah. yeah. I only figured it out. I'm old na, you know, I'm married, and it's one of those things you can look back on with no pain. And you're like, ah, oh, wow, right? And certain colognes of the 80s, yeah. Yung crush ko amoy drakar, eh, diba? Kahit drakar, sinong maamoy ko amoy drakar. Okay. Pag Or maamoy ko yung drakar, pogi agad eh. <laughs> pag maamoy ko yung gray flannel, pogi agad. Automatic. Yeah. Ah, okay. At pag may maamoy mo Old Spice, wala. Daddy mo yun. Oo nga. Kahit boyfriend mo yun, hindi mo mahalikan kasi amoy ng daddy mo yun. Or in the in the darkest days of the 70s, remember that musk perfume, Jovan? Jovan. Oh my God! Yung kulay green? <laughs> yeah. Oo. Sino kaya nag -imbe? Galit ba sila sa atin? No? Bakit sila? Does this have something to do with the fact that in the Philippines, all our um, uh, toiletries, they have masyadong malakas ang amoy. Oh, oh, oh. Yung, they, they are... To me, they're overperfumed. Okay, uh, first of all, I think we overcompensate. We try to overcompensate because for for the days that baka walang tubig at hindi tayo maka-flush. Yeah, and, and, really and baka, ano, baka um, ang tagal-tagal mo sa traffic, pawis na pawis ka, and so you don't want to smell like sweat. Buti na bring up Why my... are people embarrassed by the smell uh, of their own sweat? You know, you're right, ah. I think we, like I said, our noses adjust. Yes. Our brains adjust. Hindi mo alam volume 10 na yung cologne mo mm -hmm. pala. If we go back to nature again, when you walk in a like under the trees or whatever it is, they give off the sap and they float around in molecules. Eh. They're not overpowering, but generally your brain can sense ito yung smell ng forest or ito yung smell ng trees sa UP yes. sa Akasha. Hindi siya overpowering pero alam mong may nasi smell ka. Yeah. Na -re recognize ng brain mo. Why do you not smell it? Because we're so used to overpowering uh, sprays, you know. So I really encourage everybody to train your nose again, to to enjoy the subtlety. But first, we'll have to have some kind of cleansing of our nasal, ano, um, apparatus. Eh. So how do we do that? Uh, there are several ways to do it. I suppose it's like quitting an addiction. You know, mm -hmm. it's either your nose will respond to cold turkey. Or slowly, slowly changing. So, um, how can we avoid smelling though? Because we're surrounded <laughs> we by it. We can't avoid smelling, which is exactly why I think we should control. Because you, sometimes I think people don't even know that their mood changed because they started to smell something. That is true. You don't well, even know. I know that. Mo na, I know that mo na. Whenever I get into a grab car, the first thing I say is, um, pwedeng pakitago po muna yung, yung, um, yung, yung car sa, freshener yeah, yeah. because it triggers my sinuses. So, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, maybe not even just that. We have this fascination for the Amoy States. Mm -hmm. You know, when somebody comes home, may balik buy and box, and then, pag inamoy mo, ang distinct ng Amoy, kahit ano pa yung laman ng box, whether may just panty t-shirt, so as I grew up, I was uh, I married someone who grew up, born and raised in the States, Dieng Ah, that's why you married him. Kasi, yeah. kasi amoy amoy uh -uh. No, he asked me, what is Amoy States? Because I hear that from my cousins then when I come home. Ano yung Amoy States? Hindi ko describe. Hindi naman siya citrus. Hindi rin siya, you know. And then I realized I have to figure this out. What is this smell? Because really, it is a distinct smell all Filipinos with relatives na OFW alam to na na nag states right then I realized oh ano wala yung romance can I tell you what the what my findings are what the airports of the United States have a certain antiseptic spray that they really spray on on uh, zero degrees yung aircon room to take the bacteria out of all cargo before they load, and that's probably what so, we're smelling. So, yun ang Amoy States, antiseptic spray. I know. For a while, I thought it was love of <laughs> relatives and pasalubong. But, but it's if just... I go back to molecular science, it's probably the antiseptic spray of every customs cargo place. Wait, speaking of molecular science, can, I, can we get you something to drink? Oh, uh, yes, please. May I have coffee? Coffee. 
Siyempre, eh, peak, no, wait, let me specifically say it. Coffee given by someone with no t-shirt in a chalet. Oh! Yes! Galing! Uh, uh, uh. See, Galing. very specific. We have guessed your God, request. Ah, dreams come true, yes. don't they? Yes. Thank you. Yeah. So, so that's Sorry. it. Our, the way that we see the world is affected by what we smell sense and we're not sense. even aware of it. Yeah. Not just the sense of smell, ah, because sense of smell is not just the amoy mo. Yeah. Sense of smell is also anong naalala mo, yeah. anong naram, naramdaman mo nung nangyari yung naaalala mo. Sometimes even trauma comes back with the smell. Um, how did you get into making soap and... Um, I, was a, I was a legislative researcher yes. for Senator Angara for a couple of years. And then I resigned because I was also like I was having having health issues and etc. and eczema. Mm -hmm. But even from college and high school, I would make my own soap. Pero oh. super sim simple lang. You know, pag may I don't know, bakakami na ano at na may eczema. Uh, some soaps work like Dove, Ivory, yung mga gentle. And then after a while, hindi na siya mag work. You okay. need to switch. Then you need to switch again because our bodies adjust. Yes. Same, right? So when I realized. Nag-ibayata ng formula yung sabon ko, ako nagagawa. So I used to just saponify coconut oil. You know when you're, let's say, 10 years into into your job, into your profession, you mm -hmm. you tend to get lazy and then you decide to wing things. Yes, you know? yes. And then you will encounter failure I have. So I realized, ah, parang I'm not uh, exercising my mind. I think I'll study something I've always wanted to study, but they said, which walang, is always the best <laughs> way to deal with. Um, you know, yung feelings of stagnation yeah. or defeat. So you know, I, I, just I learned in an applied new. chem class, applied chemistry, because I said I used to love chemistry, but I didn't. Yes, think and that's always the advice you will encounter in the Philippines. Walang pera, Jan. Yes. As if Sabi the value of everything. Chemistry kasi walang pera. You know, as if the value of everything could be measured in money. Yeah. So that is a very Thank you for Pinoy bringing thing, that because yes. when I started posting that I was making so every single one, 100% would say, sell, sell or change your formula so that the profit margin is higher yeah. and then package it that you can, parang my end goal is to sell. Mm -hmm. So that I'm thinking, wait, 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 am I wrong? Like <laughs> Because um, so this society teaches us that the highest um, thing that we can aspire to is to be rich. It's profit. No? Yes. Why we do things is for profit. So I realized it's harder to explain that. No, I just really like making soap and formulating. Exactly. I can actually give it away if you want. But I realized, oh, I can fund a project with this. Okay, fine, if you want to buy. So what I decided was to do a compromise. I, I prefer teaching soap making. Yeah. So mm. that's like my big thing now. I teach uh, barangay women. I also teach very wealthy women who are bored with their lives. Mm -hmm. And I charge them a, a large tuition. Which so they can defrays sponsor. the costs yeah. of the barangay women. Yes, yeah. So they can sponsor. So if you study soap making with me, you actually have a sponsor. You, you sponsor a scholar. Mm -hmm. And uh, my next step is I have to match the women with small boutique hotels. Parang buy soap from them. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's hotels. the thing now, diba? You go to an establishment, they have proprietary yes. scents, soaps, etc. Yes. And you know, like we were talking about profit as priority. Yes. I realize when you teach, when you share, knowledge share, and, um, and the, it becomes their livelihood. You teach a group of women and they make it their livelihood. They So, iba yung recipe. Mm -hmm. They'll buy cheaper ABC yeah. para the profit is higher. And for me, it's always, you have to keep it this way so that they keep buying. Kasi mm -hmm. kung mag-change ka ng Then I realized this sentiment of keeping quality is also a commodity. It's because I can afford it. That is true. So heartbreaking rin na. Iba kasi yung pinanggalingan ng scarcity and abundance. So, um, the challenge is bigger pala. That is true. Yeah. Kasi it's not pala skills exchange lang. Parang there is also a uh, cultural uh, divide between those who need to make this for profit. So, but that's good because I'm learning. So I say, okay, I think there is a middle ground. We can do more coconut oil, less olive oil, you know. So we can tweak, we can adjust. It's the same quality, etc. Um, so now, I handhold some of the co-ops we've started so that the hotel keeps buying from them so that I, I, Very good. I, I can quality control. Would you say that um, this this whole project of yours of you know making so, so. <laughs> it's some kind of psychological thing that um, <laughs> deep down you really want to clean things up? Yeah, it saved me, you know, my yeah. wellness because 
I don't have ass things. I really, when I get into something, I want to do well yeah. in it, right? So when you make soap, you handle caustic soda, you handle lye. So yeah, you, like in Fight Club. You can yes, you cannot be distracted mm. because it's caustic. It will. Really so it's burn. it's like a mindfulness yes. experiment. Yeah. Yes, really seriously. You know the way women like some women like Zumba. Yeah. That's why like Zumba. <clears throat> it brings me to the present minute. Which is so difficult to do in the age of distraction. Age of multitasking. Exactly. So Grabe tayo. it's become a luxury to do one thing at a at time. At a time. Yes. Exactly. You know, we are the generation that cooked and watched TV at the same time. Exactly. That ate and watched. You know, tayo yun eh. But when you're handling lie, sorry. You have you to cannot. have safety goggles, mm. long sleeves, etc. Handle the perfect precision, you know, precision measurement. Otherwise, you will burn your hand, the exactly. chemical burn, etc. The few minutes in my day that I'm presently where I am, really where I am. Because I realized God, this might be simplistic, but let's... your therapy is handling lie. Yeah, uh, that's so, so cool. Yeah. And not just that. Uh, I work with material that smells good. Mm -hmm. I used to paint. I used to paint. I mean, I had a. I used to paint and I do sculpture, but I have eczema, so plaster would hurt my uh, my dry skin. And turpentine and thinner and acrylic yeah. and gouache would get me dizzy. Yes. <laughs> so, parang okay, hindi na well. That's so, what you need to develop. Um, ooh, art, art materials, materials that, that smell good. Smell good. Uh. Kaya yata maraming starving ravaged artists kasi yun ang inaamoy nila buong ano. Yeah, that's why. And then they'll go and drink themselves to death. Isipin so mo kung amoy lavender yung thinner. Oo oh. oh, nga. De, uh, re relax ng lahat ng artist natin. Oo oh, oh, nga. Isipin mm -hmm. mo kung yung amoy ng gouache. The smell of black pepper. Yung oh. amoy ng gouache frankincense. Yes. Diba? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what the Ooh. art world needs. But then, it, it, ano, um, if artists are happy, can they still make art? <laughs> Absolutely. They, I am not of the school that you have of, to be You have to be unhappy. To mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. Alam mo, the church really did a number on us. Eh. Wait, I love the church, whatever. But they, we put such a premium on suffering. Yes. We put such a premium on sacrificing. Alay mo sa buwan sa endurance, training, uh, buhay. Ang mamatay nang dahil sa'yo. Uh -uh. Wait, no. If you really enjoy photography, if you truly enjoy making soap or painting, that doesn't make it less of an offering, ah. Yes. Just because you had fun. Mm -hmm. So feeling natin kasi lagi, oh, pag pinaghirapan mo dugo, mas malaking alay. Mm -hmm. Ha, hindi, of course not. In fact, if you enjoy something, mas kaya mo araw-arawin, mas kaya mo maging consistent, mas may endurance ka. So stay there. But somehow, um, a lot of people will say, oh, it's less valuable because it's easy for you. Kasi hindi ka nagdugo. <laughs> yes, yes. Because nga, may premium tayo in suffering. Yes. We put a premium to suffering like, grabe, hinagbis. No, but, well, that's probably Christian in, in origin because, yes. you know, flat, you know, yun, yun, scourging at the pillar, crowning uh, with thorns. Uh, uh, uh. Da -da -da -da. And then, grabe, can I... Since we're philosophical and yes. off-topic anyway, can mm -hmm. I just say something? I, I love the church, don't get me wrong, and whatever, the Jesuits are great, whatever. But if a baby is born and the mommy dies at childbirth, number one rule in any psychology book, they say never make the baby feel it's his fault or her fault, right? That the mommy died, right? Never. But look, what do you tell four-year-olds? People will close ranks. What, did, what do we tell four-year-olds? You know, Jesus died and bled because to save your sin. And you're four years old saying, but I just lied about breaking a vase. Yes. But somebody 2,000 years ago died and bled for you. So you're you're going around your life very guilty. Like, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. But, but if you think about it, wait, you didn't have to die for me. It's fine. But so we work around guilt. Am I saying it's wrong? No, 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 absolutely not. Then why do we not emphasize the life instead of the bleeding? I'm thinking he probably enjoyed healing. You know, he probably enjoyed giving me. Whatever. Yeah, it's like I know we are we are told that if you truly love something, you have to die for it. I think I think it takes a more strength of character to live for something that you love. Absolutely, I think work will always be required. Yes, anywhere. So you might as well stay somewhere that you actually can do every day because in the end, endurance, repetition, ensayo, that's what will make a difference. Kasi wala namang pinanganak na Michael Jordan, ang luma ba ng example ko? Sorry. Wala namang pinanganak na Michael Jordan, except si Michael Jordan, 
Pero ang sinasabi niya, nag-1 million free throws ako para maka-10,000 points. That is true. Right? And so, uh, it's like whenever it's award season and my friends and I get together and Meryl Streep is always nominated, but Meryl Streep is not going yeah, to win every time. Yeah. It's going to be some actress who made herself look ugly for a role. Yeah. Who, who gained 200 yeah, pounds yeah. Uh, and, and, and didn't wear makeup, who will win? Because it's extraordinary to see that actress doing so well. Meanwhile, someone who does excellent work all the time, yeah. we figure ah, it's easy for her, you know, but um, yeah, let's give chance right. to others. Yeah. You're right. Mm -mm. You're right. So I guess it should be a balance, but I feel, I feel kasi no matter what, in any paradigm, work will be required. Yes. So, uh, why not minimize the the pain and the burden by doing something you really enjoy because you need to put in the work anyway. I have a feeling this is why there are no child prodigies in poetry. You know, meron sa science, uh, meron sa math. You know, there probably are. It's just that they're keeping it to themselves because if mommy and daddy find out, they will say, uh, all together now, walang pera yan. <laughs> or they'll say, or they'll say, kailangan ng Adderall or whatever. Uh, no, I think wala. Kasi I think poetry or writing will need years. Will need texture. Will need pain. Will need some experience before you produce something. It's not just a wordsmithing eh, a sentence. It's not just creating yes, a sentence. Yes, pero, it's doing it over pero, and over again. Yeah, pero, it's, which is um, the only training. Yeah, That's right. Pero music, uh, math, yung numero, rhythm, etc. Daming genius jan, three years old pa lang, four, kasi innate naman sa atin yun. Pero feeling ko to write and to paint, or I think you need to live first. My, my, uh, I had a chance to study under Ferlinghetti. Oh, wow. Yeah, one okay. summer. It's like the best summer of my life. He said, if you want to be a poet, be a bartender. Mm. Yeah. And then everyone will tell you their sob stories. Yes, <laughs> and then you have material. Mm -hmm. And then you're just there placidly listening and then you have material, right? Etc. So, which means maraming ways to perfect something, right? Um, would you say that most of our psychological issues are rooted in the culture? Or are they, you know, genetic or...? I think it's a combination of many things. Of mm -hmm. course, you're pre some are predisposed to A, B, C, be depressed, etc. A lot of it, I think, is unprocessed trauma or unprocessed grief. Or um, and we all will have our share of grief. Ah, lahat tayo mamamatayan. If we don't process it appropriately, it remains inside. And what is it? It is an, a, a feeling, and a feeling is energy. Sometimes to matambay siya sa organs you know tatambay siya sa uh, where you're weak and it, that's that's very true because your energy will find a place to to hang mm -hmm. unless you either let it out in the form of i don't know energy this energy dispose uh, dispersal like a sport or just discussing it let's just talk about me okay uh, my parents are in their late 80s mm -hmm. i am um, in anticipatory grief, I think it contributes to my mild depression because I'm almost waiting. I'm almost waiting. We're in the waiting room for them to to yes, get yes, the phone I call and that they're they totally died. So yes. what's the effect on me? I don't. I used to not sleep. Like I, I'm super insomniac. Yung pala, in ayawong tulog when the phone call happens. And my, so I mean, I'm, I'm anticipating the deaths of my parents. Eh. And uh, that's real. May ipit yung yung ay yung ser yung mind ko or yung self ko in the anticipating. Right. And then every time my and, phone and makes a sound, out, I jump. <laughs> yeah, and you find out that anticipating the terrible thing turns out to be worse and, than the actual of terrible course, thing. It's of just course. that you extended it for up to years of. You know, you, you know, really dread. have to ask yourself. Okay, hindi ka natulog ng anim na buwan kasi you're waiting for the call. Will the call come? Yes, the call will still come. So why don't you just live, you know? And you're right. You told me this at the wake of James. Just try to be grateful for little things. Nah, we can easily dismiss because you know we're so cool and we don't like things like be grateful. Na, na, na. No, dude, it's not cool to be ungrateful. <laughs> you have to be grateful for things. No, yeah, because there was a period when I was always glum, and then I was surfing the headset. What are the you know treatments uh, or therapies that I can take for? Depression in case it's depression. They said, keep a gratitude journal. I said, that's so badui. I and yeah, know. I tried it and it worked. But yeah, every day you just make a list of three to five items you're grateful for. Yeah, so it, yeah. it doesn't have Absolutely. to be anything major. No, no, no. I think we think there's this unending quest for cool. Eh. Yes. Parang we think we need to be cool. And, uh, you know, things like being grateful, having a grateful journal, being kind. Parang, I don't know what happened to it. Why did it stop being cool? 
You know, I don't know. No! Dude! <laughs> pag hindi ka nagta-thank you, yan ang hindi cool. Yes. Right? That, and pag it, hindi ka nagta-thank you, rude yon. Super! Mm-hmm. Lalo na if you do rape jokes, o oh, walang kinagagawan. Pre-nayap ko lang. Sinama <laughs> ko lang. Kasi may, may chance eh. <laughs> no, but di ba? Parang, ano to? Who are you trying to impress? Who are you trying to impress? Wala. It's, you know, and we forget. We forget these things. So, I think that's uh, in the depression aspect. That's how... I make soap, <laughs> you know? Mm-hmm. Gumaling na ako, gumaling na ako, gumawa ng sabon, na dami kong ginawa ng sabon. You know, this makes me want to learn to make soap. You should come, you should come mm-hmm. here because I, you work with nice smelling materials, so that's really Yes, good. and I'm also thinking that if I ever take up serial killing, that's what I will do with yeah. my victims, turn yes. them into soap. Scientifically and chemically, molecularly, it is possible to turn people into soap. Chemistry is everything, really. Yes. I, I'm an element, so are you. Uh, you know, people we don't get along with, they're elements. They're not good or bad, they're just bad combinations. Mm-hmm.